Good morning everyone, I'm Katie and welcome back to the channel. So what a palaver. So you may have noticed that you have kind of like missed a week because today is Saturday the 14th of May. Now um, I started filming a vlog two weeks ago um, and it was meant to be a two day weekend because I'm always up here for the whole weekend and I did a load on the first day and then I got rained off for two days. Um, and then my daughter was back and I could barely do any more. However, as I said, it's Saturday the 14th of May and I am back up here. So what I'm gonna do first is quickly cut clips to show you what I did on the weekends that got completely rained off. So here you go. So starting right up this end of the plot, I am going to be constructing an archway here into a recycled um, trough that I've actually found, which I will show you in a minute. As you can see, we've got some new signs finally painted that me and my daughter did. They're around the plot, not completely secured in yet, but um, I, I will be hammering them in a bit more. So we're gonna be building an archway here and planting some flowers. I'm gonna be pulling back this black plastic, weeding, putting my beetroot in, putting some rocket in, and then in this space here, I'm going to be constructing a small brassica tunnel um, for the brassica that don't grow very high, like the cabbages. I'm going to be planting my next lot of Swiss chard and my next lot of spinach. As you can see, if I go down here, you can see my first lot is coming up and I do actually have some Swiss chard over there. We also have the mixed salad leaves come up and I also have some forget-me-nots there which is amazing going down I'm going to be doing something really really interesting I've just gone and got some guttering and what I'm going to be attempting to do is creating floating strawberry beds so you see this half fence I'm going to be securing my guttering along it and then I am going to be um, filling them with compost and then I'm going to be planting strawberry plants in there to create floating strawberries along the top of all this fencing so that is definitely on the agenda today um, moving down I am also going to be constructing the main brassica cage today because not only do I have cabbages that are ready to come out I also have kale that is ready to come out and I have broccoli that is ready to come out so that all needs to go in back up here also across the two beds I need to check where but I'm also going to be planting out or attempting to prick out and plant out my parsnip some carrots and my leeks and also my swede but we will have a go and see what we can do down here obviously I have a couple of pathways that I still need to finish so I do want to try and finish those over this two-day weekend as well I'm going to go back through and just reweed through um, uh, the onions it's just going to be an ongoing thing I can see that there's a rogue raspberry come up over there and some bindweed and then finally in the fruit cage I am going to go in and just sort the pathway out again because um, I still haven't taken up those rogue raspberries that is the trough that I have just gotten from an old allotment that has shut down I've got some boards that I'm going to screw on the front and make a trough to put the opening archway in and I've also got a big bucket of strawberry plants in there because that um, they were all down there as well and they were free so I've got all of these fresh strawberry shoots um, that I'm going to be able to plant in my guttering and it's the same place that I got all my strawberry plants here so they were free so why wouldn't I take them so first job on the agenda today is construction I need to get all the construction done before I can put any plants in so I'm going to start with the floating strawberries so what I need to do is I need to measure these because these are three meters long and I believe I need them about two and a half so I'm going to measure them get the caps for them um, and then put and then screw them on top of these um, to make them both sides so let's do that okay so that is all the pieces cut to size I've cut those to size those are the off cuts over there and then what I've also done is cut these I've cut two of these because obviously I'm not going to be able to screw directly on top of my outer fence post because that's higher so I've made two of these one for each side to screw into the outer fence post so that my guttering can then sit on top so now all that's left to do 
is get these on. Let's see what happens. And there we have it. They're not perfect. This one's slightly angled, but I don't care. They are there. They're gonna go grow strawberries and they are gonna look amazing. I know I said I was gonna do all the physical projects first, but my strawberries are just unearthed in a tub like this at the moment. And I don't want them, um, I don't want them to shrivel up or anything like that. So I think the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill these with compost, get my strawberries in there and get them watered and get them in their brand new home. Let's do it. And there we have it. Look how amazing are these gonna look when they're all in bloom. They are going to look so incredible. So I filled it with the compost, made little holes, planted them all in. I'm glad I got them in before I did anything else. And I've just given them a really heavy watering. So I cannot wait to see these in bloom and full of strawberries. They're gonna look amazing. Now I think on to the next job and I'm going to get my trough ready for building my archway. And there we have it. So screwed on these side panels of bits of wood I found as well as the crate and it's all on there and looks brilliant and it's going to serve the job. So I think the next thing is going to be to actually attempt to construct the archway that's going to start here, go over and go into there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to half fill two thirds fill this with wood chip and then put compost on the top because it's just going to primarily be flowers um, in this in fact it's all going to be flowers just lots of different kinds and then I just want to nudge it over slightly to get it in place let's do that so all I'm using to construct this archway is some bamboo canes which I already had and some water piping that I already had I'm using this also to build um, my small brassica tunnel and I've already got bits cut down there to make my big brassica cage so the idea is that I stick canes in the ground and a crossways for support and then put the tubing over the top um, I have a saw here to cut things down so let's see if I can manage it so as you can see I have made the two frames here so the first one is already in the ground where it's going to be and I made the second one freestanding in front of it to get the sizing right so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go and get some wood chip to do this and put that in get the compost in and then push this frame that I've made into the bin let's see if it works and there we have it I'm not saying it will survive high winds but it is complete and I've put some bunting around the top and then the plan is is that in here I'm going to plant some climbing nasturtiums um, some sweet peas I'm also going to put some cosmos in here and maybe a few other little flowers and then I'm going to end up having pots down here and it will just be like a really nice entrance way to the um, to my allotment so next up I think what I'm going to do is as I've got the pipe out I think I'm going to cut the rest of the pipe I need for my small brassica tunnel which is going here so let's get the pipes cut and get the sticks in the ground for it so what I've decided to move on to is building my main brassica cage so what I've got are these proper posts in all four corners I'm doing crossbars with bamboo I'm also doing supports with bamboo and I'll pop some in the middle um, because this is what the um, the bamboo is what the water pipe that I have is going to go slot onto and then be tied to to make the archway frame and then I will put a bamboo crossbar across the top to help keep all the pipes secure and then net will go over the top that's the plan let's see if I can get it done and there is the frame for my brassica tunnel as you can see I've made it so that it's the whole um, width and depth of um, the bed just so that I've got plenty of room in there I've made it tall enough so that I can walk in there without having to bend over because obviously I will still have to weed in there um, and I've just secured it with some um, 
bamboo canes it's not perfect i am not a builder um but it will do the job i'm not going to put the net on tonight i don't know if my net is big enough i might have to um concoct something where i put two nets together but i'm not going to do it today because i need to um pull the black plastic back for that and then use the pins to pin it down so i'm going to do that tomorrow because i'm trying to get all my construction done today and then planting out and planting tomorrow other than the strawberries which aren't looking too bad at the moment so this is done i have two things left to do today that i want to get done before i go home um, and that is to um, build the small brassica tunnel just there which i've already cut the pipe for so that should be quite easy and then finally i want to put the uh, bean fence in over there which is the same as my pea fence and then also I just want to move the tomato what will be the tomato fence further in um, I might just do the post today I don't know if I'll do the fencing but let's get to that and there we have it there is the mini brassica cage so all I've done here is I cut the pipes um, to the same length I got my uh, pipe with Sue off of um, Facebook and we got a really really good deal it was like 20 pounds between us for so many rolls of it it was incredible so I just cut it to size and then what I've done is I've driven it into the ground quite far and then I've cable tied these crossbars on it and tomorrow I will also put the netting over that once I have um, planted all the plants in there I didn't feel like I needed um, the height to get in there because these plants don't grow um, very high that's why things like my cabbages are going to go in here and then i can just um pull the netting back and weed around them so that won't be too bad because it's not as wide as my other brassica cage and then finally over here i've put in the framework for what will be um, the frame for my yellow dwarf beans and my dwarf french beans as well they're going to go on either side all i need to do to that is put the chicken wire on so if you remember this is where I'm planting my peas on this fence that we made and what I've just done is I've just gone along and pulled out the few blades of grass that were growing and they're absolutely fine now I've got sugar snap peas ready and I've got a small amount of regular peas ready and I've got some more in that still aren't quite ready yet but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant sugar snap on one side and I'm going to plant normal on the other so let's do that so what I have here is my pea kelvedon wonder and these were the ones i just popped in randomly because i didn't think i'd planted enough thank goodness i did because that mouse took all of my pea seeds that i planted so i'm going to put them down this far end near the edge of the plot i'm going to put them along here they'll probably take me up to this halfway point which is good because then i've got more that i can plant down the other end so let's get these in and there we have it my wonderful pea seeds are in and as I said it took me up to the middle pole so that's that's really really good on to the next job so this is what I've achieved so far I've managed to get three side panels on I have a few more cable ties to bring and then all I've got to do is construct the front out of mesh a different material but what I'm actually going to do is I don't want to cable tie the whole top so I'm going to bring one of my big darning needles down here and actually stitch close the stop top to stop anyone getting in but this is just free netting i got from um, an allotment that was being shut down and then obviously also i'm gonna cable tie these sides and probably stitch them in two and then what i've done is i've pinned all the bottoms so as you can see i'm pretty much able to stand up in here which is going to be perfect also took off the cover and look at my beautiful soil that is going to be amazing to plant my brassica in unfortunately i've run out of time because i got distracted because one of my lovely allotment neighbors bought me this trough down uh, for free which is amazing and i've decided i actually want to put it here because this thing gets full sunlight all the time um, and if it's only a little bit into my path so if i move this compost bin over to here where nothing is going nothing will be seen then I'm going to be able to slide this in and I've got some breeze blocks so what I'm going to do is next time move this over there put some breeze blocks down put it on top and then fill it and find lots of things to plant in it and I think I'm going to go for a mixture I might put some of my carrots in here down the center I'm going to put some flowers in there I might even put 
um, some more lettuce in there. I might even go and grab some more strawberries because let's face it, you can never have enough strawberries. But I, I have no idea exactly what I'm going to put in there, but I am so, so excited to put them in there. And final thing to tell you before switching to another day is that I also went to go and buy some bamboo canes and I bought these two little lavender plants to put in this trough because I thought they'd look wonderful. Okay, so let's go get the watering can, water the greenhouse, and then head off to another day. So some very exciting news is that my grapevine has arrived and it looks amazing. So I want to get this into the ground ASAP. So I've just nipped up here for a couple of minutes. And what I want to do is try and clear this area. I know I've got um, mint and apple mint in there and some purple sage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out the excess raspberry bushes, clear out the weeds see what kind of position we're in because my thought is that i want the grapevine up the back there so that i can train it to grow up and can you see that little bumblebee did you spot it poking around in the raspberry flowers which is just wonderful there he is <laughs> doesn't like to be filmed okay so let's try and clear this and get this in in the little time that i've got before the school run so that is where we are at um lots of things have happened um so i'm going to turn you around i'll show you what we're going to do today now there is a threat of rain tomorrow which is why i am up here at quarter past eight in the morning because i'm getting on it i am getting done today so let's turn you around show you what we're going to be doing today and also um give you a look at the greenhouse because it's it's been a while so let's go take a look okay so we are going to be making a lot of changes today um just to update you i've already planted my second lot of um lettuce in here i did give some away so that's fine so plans today i want to redo this side of the archway put some stronger bamboos in and actually cable tie it to the greenhouse there and put a supporting post behind so that i know this isn't going to come down then what we're going to do is i've got two lavender plants here i want to put those in i want to put some climbing nasturtiums in this box a couple of other flowers and then i've got some other big pots that i'm just going to put around here and i'm also going to get a tire and put one of my herbs in it over here we are going to be pulling back the last of the plastic today it's driving me nuts we're getting rid of it so in here we're going to be getting our beetroot out our rocket out some of our root vegetables out we are re-securing this and planting our cabbages and cauliflowers over here we are going to put in our next row of spinach as you can see this one's coming up really well there are some gaps so i might fill it in we're going to be putting in some more rainbow chard we are going to be topping up our potatoes on this we're going to be putting the fencing and we're going to be putting our yellow beans and our dwarf french beans on there <clears throat> taking back this plastic we're going to be putting some courgettes in here some root vegetables in here taking back this plastic we are finally going to be planting out our squash and our um, pumpkins as you can see thanks to the rain we've had a load of weeds come up not impressed but still i need to check also what garlic survived here and what garlic survived over here because i have got random just like one or two bits so that's not good as you'll have seen in the clips of what i did I planted some peas that damn feed field mouse came back and ate the lot so not impressed so what i'm going to do is my next lot are ready i'm going to be planting both sides and then i'm actually going to be netting it to stop it now i'm not going to plant a huge amount here but what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring these fence posts in i also have this uh like cattle panel uh, fencing we're going to be fencing that and that's going to be ready for the tomatoes and tomatillos they're obviously not going out yet i want to weed through the hollyhocks i also want to put some string across to kind of support them and keep them back away from the tom um, tomatoes and tomatillos weed out that as well as you can see my sky strawberries are looking really really good so i'm really pleased with that <sighs> something happened to the cage I, I don't know what but we're going to be putting the fence posts back in re-supporting it and then i've bought a giant darning needle up we're going to be stitching this up i've got another piece of fencing to go on that's being done i'm also going to finish off these pathways i've got some weeds to pull out i want to finish these pathways um done this one finish this pathway which is insane um and then here i'm going to pull off my daughter's the rest of my daughter's plastic i'm going to be planting loads of flowers down here for her and i'm going to be building the sweet pea tp over there i really need to get in the fruit cage and finish uh weeding that 
I've got to obviously reweed my onions, but hey, at least they're looking good. And then finally, as you can see, I got this new trough. Um, I think I might have mentioned it in the clips, but I can't remember. So what I also need to do today is I'm going to move this compost bin over there. And then this is going to slide down here on blocks. Um, and then we're going to try and get that planted too. So there is a heck of a lot that I want to get done this weekend. So let me go and show you inside the greenhouse. I mean, I'm not going to be able to show you everything because it looks like a nursery in there. Um, but everything looks amazing and it is time to get the majority of it out my goal today is to get enough of this planted out that i can put away one set of shelves and actually start planting one side of this greenhouse that is the goal as you can see if you if i give you a close-up my peppers my tomatillos they're all doing so so amazing my aubergines they're 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 just doing incredibly i've got peas on my sugar uh, flowers on my sugar snap peas down there we have got so much to get out and so much to do but i reckon we can do this so i think i'm gonna do what i did last time i'm gonna start at one end and work my way down so if i'm starting at one end and working my way down that means i need to start here so what i need to do is i just want to secure this so that it's not going to come down easily um, and then we're going to get this planted so let's get going Okay, so what I've done is I've added in um, another crossbar here. I've added in a support post behind and then I've just cable tied it all together. So what I want to get in here are these lavender. And as I said, I bought some climbing nasturtiums. Yeah, here we go. So these are nasturtium tropical mix climbing variety. And I think they will look amazing going up the side there. I'm going to put a couple of cucumbers in this side i'm also going to put another crossbar in so i want to get the climbing nasturtiums in there i want to get the two lavenders and a few others and then i'm going to get some pots of things done as well so let's do that and there we have it i'm super pleased i'm i'm really chuffed so what we try and do up at our allotments is repurpose stuff so that it doesn't go to landfill and we had a few tires so i've taken this and i've filled it um, and I've put my chives in there because I thought they'll be really good for um, the bees coming in. I've got some oregano back there. I've got some larkspur. First time growing it, Sue gave it to me. I've got some Canterbury bells. Again, first time Sue gave it to me. Those are for the forget-me-nots that we um, planted before. I've got the two lavenders in. I've put some cosmos in. And then back there I've got two zinnias and then I've got a whole row of those climbing nasturtiums. And I think that when this is all in bloom, it is going to look absolutely beautiful. And what a welcome to my allotment. Obviously, I'm not going to put the cucumbers out today, but um, I'm going to put two cucumbers over this side to come up this side. So my next job, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this area next. And the first thing I need to do is put the wire netting across here and i'm going to work from here outwards because i've got this space here and i will be planting there but um i don't want to be stepping over it so i'm going to do this first and get my first lot of beans in and then i will work my way backwards add the next lot of swiss chard add the next lot of spinach so let's get on to that so it was a bit of a palaver but i got my netting on and now i'm super excited let's get some beans out Woohoo! i think we're going to go for the yellow ones on this side and i'll put the green ones on the other side so i'm going to do the yellow ones first because i'm going to do the yellow beans and work my way back um so yellow beans um then i'm going to plant some more swiss rainbow swiss chard and some more um spinach and i think i might pop a couple of random flower plants in here as well just to make it look cool so these are the extra um seeds that i'm going to be planting today i'm just going to directly sow them out i've got some swiss chard bright lights and i've got some spinach Madania, Madania, however you pronounce it. So I'm going to directly sew these in, fill in some gaps and uh, just create a bit more produce. And there we have it. Doesn't it look amazing? So what I decided to do with the spinach was I didn't actually plant the second row. I filled in the gaps and planted extra seeds. So I've got one full line there because I think what I'm actually going to do is put a load in the trough as well. And that'll be where my second spinach is. We've got a lot of different things in here. So I extended 
the row of rainbow swiss chard which is in there and there's a little marker there what i've put between the spinach and the swiss chard these are cosmos i have two um, little dorrit sunflowers here because they're for picking and right there i have a little line of zinnias and then of course my yellow beans um, i'm going to stop there on this side because i want to come over and tackle this side which is a complete and utter mess so what i need to do is clear all of this out of the way have a look underneath get rid of any weeds and then the first thing we're going to be doing is planting out our beetroot here so just uncovering it that was a task and a half i got very very muddy but as you can see the no dig worked i've only got a couple of weeds and obviously that big chunk of grass at the back there um which wasn't covered so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull the weeds out and then i'm going to get my beetroot out here let's do it so when it comes to beetroot um sue actually taught me my first year which i believe she got from um charles dowding um so what you do is you multiple sow seeds and when you come to plant them out you actually put them out like this as well and they grow in clumps and you just twist one off as and when you want it and it's worked really well the last two years for me so that's what we're going to do this year as well and there we go my beetroot are in and they look so amazing when i was looking at the roots some of them are so incredibly color colorful um i've got some mixed beetroot there and a few of them down here um and the roots honestly look like swiss chard rainbow swiss chard they look amazing but i've got some golden ones here i've got some beetroot cylindra here and then the rest are all um mixed beetroot i've got a gap here now obviously i'm going to be planting two cucumbers here but i might try and get a couple of flowers in there and just up in that top section there um, i might put a couple of my um little dorrit sunflowers i think so next it'll be to put those in maybe put a couple of canterbury bells here maybe and then the next thing I want to put in a long line along here is my Swede and then my parsnips. So let's get that done. And there we have it. It's so exciting. So what I've done is obviously put the beetroot in. I've put a couple of zinnias there and some Canterbury bells. Up the back there I've put a little Dorrit picking sunflower and three tall ones. And then there's a gap here so that I can walk down. And then this first row here is all swede and then i've got three rows of gladiator and mammoth um parsnip i i don't know which is which i just took from all sections of the tray i uh, some of you will know i've had the biggest trouble with parsnip this is the first year out of three that i've managed to get them to germinate and it was in a tray in the greenhouse so i have just been really really super careful picking them out um, and I'm really hoping that they do okay. I've put the ones that I've got left in the greenhouse just in case I need to replace some. But fingers crossed. So next on the agenda, I'm going to be securing this mini tunnel um, and putting the net over and pinning that in. And then we are going to be putting some um, cabbage in there and some cauliflower in there. So let's do that. So I'm just putting my net around the newly secured small cage and I completely nicked this idea from Sue. So I have a couple of holes in my netting, which obviously I don't want. So I've just got a giant darning needle here and some garden string and I'm just stitching it up so that there won't be a hole there. It's a great tip. Okay, so that's the small brassica tunnel done. Before I close it up, I just wanted to show you inside. So I've got some purple cabbage white cabbage and a lot of cauliflower and what i've done is i've put my first round in but i've also put my second round in so they'll be at different stages so i hopefully should get them at different times now all i need to do is pull down this side pin it down and that is another job done so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to skip this next section um first because i'm going to need to trample all over this bit um so i want to move the compost bin over there and get this trough in place um so what i'm gonna do is lift the bin and then we'll bury the contents over there and then get some of the weeds out that are down there and then put this trough on concrete blocks let's do it 
Okay, so the compost bin is now in its new home. That was a bit of a task and a half. But the good news is that there was a lot of broken down soil at the bottom. So that has now gone into the trough which is in place and I just topped it up with compost and it is in its new home. So now I've kind of got to try and decide what I want to grow in it. I am 99% sure that I want to put spinach in it. I want to put rocket in it. I'm thinking I might also put um, some uh, carrots in there possibly down the center I think would work really well and then I'm thinking just dot a few flowers around it so I think that will look really really nice so let's get to planting it and that's the trough done I'm really super pleased it doesn't look like much now but it will so down this end I've got a couple of flowers and then I've got a um, row of spinach and a row of rocket and I've put some sprouted spring onions down the middle I've also got a little um, four of spring onions there two more flowers and then that is all my sugar snacks carrots that I individually pricked out one of the most mundane jobs in existence but I got them all in and I've got some zinnias at the end I have a few leftover carrots so what I decided to do was to put them in here with the salad because I've grown them in the grow sack before so I thought that would work a treat I think the next thing I actually want to do now is finish that side so I'm going to pull off the back plastic clear the weeds and start getting my squash and um, pumpkins out and I have also decided that I'm going to plant my cucumbers so I'm going to get those out on these arches too let's do it and that is the pumpkin and squash patch done uh, another tip from Sue is to label and put a stake in uh, where you've actually planted because they get so big and they wander um, it's a way of knowing where to water when they get big I also popped in uh, one of my courgettes down there the only thing left to do over here is I found about four garlic that survived which is a bit pants um, but what I am going to do is I am going to put some of my carrots up through between them I didn't get to that I did put two cucumbers in and right here I put a block of my celery and finally I put two cucumbers in down there. So that's it for today guys, let's cut to tomorrow, weather permitting. Hi guys, it is the next day so I'm here, I don't know how long I'll be here but I am here. Um, it is very grey and overcast, but we are not forecast rain until after lunch. So I'm up here, it's quarter past nine in the morning, and I'm just gonna move as quickly as possible. As I'm saying this, I can feel spots of rain. I'm just gonna, just gonna go and see what I can get done. Um, if it torrential rains, then maybe I can get something done in the greenhouse. Fingers crossed. So the first thing I'm going to do is move to the other side, pull back the first lot of plastic and start planting things in the ground. Let's do it. This is what I want to pull back. I want to pull this back. I have got some more beans to get in. I have got some courgettes to get in. I've got some more cucumbers to get in. Um, I've got my peas to try and get in and net um, all sorts. As you can see, everything we planted yesterday looks pretty happy. It all did really well. So fingers crossed. Let's get moving on this. Okay, so it looked like it was just a passing scatter of raindrops. I didn't even really get wet. So I have pulled this back, de-weeded it, pulled everything out. The soil looks great. So I'm gonna do the same as I did yesterday over here and I'm gonna work backwards. So the first thing I want to do is get my dwarf French beans in. Let's do it. So that is the dwarf French beans planted. I had a few extra, so I have done them down here. If they need support, I will just put a cane in for them. But that looks great. So next up, I think I am going to get in all my courgettes. So let's do that. In the time it has taken me for, for me to plant all my courgettes out, the sun has come out, which is very welcome. I'm not sure how long it will stay. There are lots of clouds around. But I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. So my courgettes are in, they look amazing. I've got three different types and I've done the same thing that I did with my pumpkins and squash and I've just put a little stake in um, to let me know where I planted them. And as you can see on the back one, um, we have already got 
some flowers which is great so they are looking strong they are looking healthy so i'm just trying to decide what to plant in next and what i think i'm going to do is i think i'm going to do another celery grid here um which i think will go really really well but what i might do first because this is filling up i think i might go and get my first lot of peas and get them in um, and get the netting around them so let's go get some peas and hope that these ones survive mr peabody the field mouse okay so the sugar snack peas are in and the mr peabody prevention net is also up hopefully it does something but they look happy so hopefully they'll take and i shouldn't have said anything about sun because it's now gone in uh, but we'll see next up is definitely going to be planting a patch another patch of the celery let's do it so that's it i have managed to get another grid of celery in the rain has just started again i'm hoping it's a brief shower i'm going to take refuge in the green in the um, shed for a minute and have a break and take the opportunity to have a drink if it doesn't stop what i'm thinking is i'm going to head into the greenhouse see if i can reorganize and do some planting in there because it's dry in there but let's go and take refuge in the shed for five minutes while it's having a quick rain out there i don't know if it's going to stop to be honest but I'm going to sit here for another five minutes, uh, but I'm still going to be productive. So while it's raining, I thought I'd have a quick look at my original allotment plan. Now, I always do a rough plan for the beginning of the year. It never sticks to that because things take up less room. They take up more room. So I move around on this side was a list of things that I wanted to grow and also all the recipes that I want to be able to can and um, dehydrate and pickle so what i'm actually doing is i'm looking i use this as a rough guide for where i want to do things but then over the page what i've done is i've actually drawn it again to mark out where things actually end up and as you can see this needs a lot of updating now so while it's having a quick rain i am going to sit here and update it yeah, so this doesn't look like it's stopping for a minute. So I think I'm going to head into the greenhouse and see if there's absolutely anything I can do in there so that I can plant. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I have just cleared this space in the greenhouse. Uh, there was like a, a grass weed in there, so I pulled that out. However, it has briefly stopped raining. So I'm going to take the opportunity to quickly go out, weed the other side of the pea fence and attempt to get the peas in before it starts raining again. Let's do it. Okay, and we are done. So I did a couple of things. I popped two coriander plants in either side. I put the netting on here. I put my two cucumbers in here. I just noticed there's a little bit of snail damage, so I'm hoping that they'll be okay. I've put three zinnias in down here, and then I have put the other peas in and secured some netting around them, so hopefully the mouse clears off them. I also thinned out the few carrots that are here. So the next job is going to be to take off the last of the black plastic here, clear the weeds. I know there is some garlic in there, so I need to sort that out. Um, and I'm going to move the posts in up there um, before I plant anything. So let's get going. So I did cut and cover down the end, managed to weed it all, and then it started raining again. So we've come back into the greenhouse and we're going to get some things planted. Let's do it. So the first thing is in the greenhouse. These are my aubergine. There's nine of them. There's three different varieties. So hopefully they will do really, really well. So I'm going to move on to this section here and I'm going to start getting some peppers in because this whole side is just going to be aubergines and peppers. And there we have it. We've got the aubergines. We've got all my peppers. I do have some others, but what I'm planning to do is um, I actually want to put a piece of wood there and turn that end into another bed. So I will have room for a few more, although it looks like I'm going to need more room for tomatoes, but we, <laughs> but we will see. Um, I do also want to grow my melon down the end here, but that is something productive to do on a very wet and miserable day. So I have now been officially rained off. I can't do any more in the greenhouse because I still have so much in here that needs to go outside, but we got so, so much done. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will be back again soon. Bye.